Um, okay, so vara. We're going to go into each of these five elements. The vara, they're the seven days of the week connected to the Agni Tattva. So how does the Agni Tattva affect our health and vitality? Well, I guess if you don't have Agni, you don't have enough life force to go out and do things. Life force is prana. Mm -hmm. Digestion. Digestion. How does digestion affect our health and vitality? Um, well, the digestion is what makes up the tissues. So you need to digest your food in order to be a healthy person. You could be eating the best food in the world, but if you don't digest it, it stops it. Mm -hmm. So that's where the real key is. And it's very important that we understand how Agni makes us healthy. So when we start looking at prana, we can differentiate health created by Agni and health created by prana. Health created by Agni, because Agni is the digestion which creates the tissues in the body. How well formed those tissues are is relative to how strong the Agni is. So if the Agni is weak, the tissues become weak. And so what part, where, what is the cause of ill health at that point? The ill health is weak, malformed tissues of the body. The body complex is weak. The bones are brittle. The nerve tissue is not strong. It's a physical-based disease based on physical weakness of the body. It's weakness of energy or vitality based on physical weakness of the body. The immune system might not be strong enough because the digestion, the immune system, remember, is the end of the, is the last process of the tissues. When all the tissues are well formed, the last aspect is the immune system, the ojas. If all the tissue, if the tissues aren't well formed, that's going to decrease the immunity in the body. Um, the stronger the uh, agni is, the less toxins there are in the body. When there is a strong agni, it burns up all the toxins and then the immune system, the ojas, can be strong. If there's, the oj ojas and, and, and toxins are two sides of a spectrum. There can either be one or the other. The more toxins, the less ojas, the less immunity. The more immunity, the less toxins in the body. So there's a direct relationship. So the stronger the agni, the stronger the ojas is going to be because of the less toxins. It's a multi-way street there. Now the days of the week. How do we get the days of the week? From the seven days. Well, that's how we get the names of the week. Why is there only seven? Why not nine? There's nine planets. There's lots of days you don't have nine. <laughs> And this relates to a very physical level, doesn't it? The day of the week relates to the physical, what you can touch in the body. And so there's seven lords. And those seven lords are the seven physical lords. Um, <clears throat> now if we look at the chart on page three, this is a chart of the horas. Horas means hours. They're the hours of the day. And... If we see, can anybody tell me the order, where the order of this is coming from? Sun, Venus, Mercury, and Moon, Saturn. Well, the starting of the day, the four days. Mm. But what's the order of the planets? The order of the planets. What's the order? Why? Why is Sun coming after, why is... Sun coming after oh, Mars. Oh, this order here. Mm -hmm. Sun comes after Venus. I mean, yeah. yeah sun, wait. Sun comes after Mars. And before Venus. And before Venus. Mars, Sun, oh, Venus, okay. Mercury, Moon, then Saturn. What are you looking at? The order. Where is this order coming from? Mm -hmm. Well, the sun is itself, and then Venus is itself. I don't know. I'm confusing. Okay. <laughs> it's 
something to do with the, the king and the queen and then the, the chief command, the generals and the... Yeah. Same as the boss, or the boss mm -hmm. rank. Yep. Looks like it took the day. Nope. <laughs> not, the organ, it's not the organ of authority. Is there a relationship? Is the relationship part of the whole thing? It's supposed to be. No. Nope. What's the um, slowest moving planet? Saturn. Okay, so find Saturn. Okay, Saturn. What's the next slow? What's the next slowest moving planet after Saturn? Jupiter. Jupiter. And then after that? Mars. Mars. And then after that? The sun is it replaces us. Okay. We we see we it looks like we're moving around. The Earth is moving. Mm -hmm. The sun is moving around us, but we're moving around oh, the right. sun. So, so the sun takes right. the place of the Earth exactly. there, okay. and that's where Earth fits into that, to the um, order there. And the time being, there's no more planets rotation yeah. around the planet. It's it's yeah. based on the speed. Right. Okay. Cool. Wait. So so. Sun, so the if you remember, the, if you remember the reasoning, then it's like, what are the horrors? You can say, okay, well today yeah, is right. Tuesday, and the so two, it's Mars, it's Mars, and after Mars comes Sun, and after that, and if you remember that That's it's the right. speeds, it's easy enough to that remember. Okay. It becomes very easy to remember with you if you can see the structure that it's made up with, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, so it's you all remember the yeah. But it's every other one. It's not. An, an what do you mean? No, no, read down. Days of the week. Read down. Oh. Okay, so Sun and Venus and Mars. Sun is the, as the Earth. Okay. The speed of the Earth. Because the Sun doesn't move. It's us moving around the Earth. It's an optical illusion. Oh, I the see. Sun, the Sun's speed is what our speed. Okay, so reading down, it's in order of fastest to slowest. Or you could read the other direction, read I was up. and at reading across. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Read, you could read up and it's, it's, it's fastest to slowest or slowest to fastest if you read down. So what happens is, so if we look at the first hora, the first hour on a Sunday, it's ruled by the sun. The next hour is ruled by Venus. The next hour by Mercury. We go all the way down till we get to midnight. Or we get to the end of the day as, as we're about to change. So we're getting to 5 a.m. just before sunrise. That last hora there, in that order, is Mercury. What comes after Mercury? Moon. Moon. So look, Moon becomes the first hora of Monday. Oh. Okay. Follow that order. If that same order stays in tune, the last hora of Monday is Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Oh, it all worked out. Dividing it into 24, exactly. Mm -hmm. And what comes after Jupiter? Mars. Mars. Mm -hmm. And so that's, so the days of the week, the order that comes from, is based upon the horror. Mm -hmm. oh. The order of the weekday is based upon the horrors. So the thing is, the day is divided into 24 hours. Each one is assigned the lordship of the planets to, based on their speed. And then the days of the week are coming from that. Are the horrors coming from the days? Or are the days coming from the horrors? The days are coming from the horrors. Yeah. Hmm. Because the days don't have any particular order in and of themselves, do they? They do. They do. Huh. If, if, you, if you make a circle, mm -hmm. you put the order of the season there, then you draw something from the star. That's the order. Uh, drawing a seven pointed star. Um, Backwards. Mm -hmm. Every day it's skipping one. It's after the other. But then you're skipping one. Yeah. yeah. That's the that's sort of pattern. There's multiple, multiple patterns in the Vara Chakra. Um, but it's important to remember that the hora, that the day is based upon the hora. And how we, are, how we are sure of this principle is the Lord of the month. How do we know what the Lord of a month is? Do you know, brother, Eric? It's the Mara of the first day of the week. Hora. Oh, the Hora of the first day. 
Mm hmm And the year? I guess it'd be the whole of the first. Mm hmm The Hora Lord, the first the first day of the month, that Hora at sunrise is the Lord of the month. So the same as the Vara day, but it's mm. it's raining across the sky as Hora. As Hora. But how do you define it in this the beginning of a particular month and which you know, which beginning of the year like the Sankranti. Sankranti. Oh Sankranti. Okay. Yeah. And oh, and there's right. and okay, there's okay. and there's different types of right. um okay. Different types of year, whether you're going an astrological year, right. uh, a financial year. So f a financial year will have a certain chart, where the um, government year has a different chart, where your site, your astrological year has a certain chart. So okay. depending on what we're wanting so to look at for the okay. year, right. if we look at for your year, then we use the Tithi Pravesh mm -hmm. chakra. So, okay. yeah. Okay. So we understand that. We understand that there's only seven. Um, all activities start at during, if we go to the next page, four, we look at Sanjay's n rule number two. All activities start at during the horror ruled by the Lord of the related bhava in the birth chart shall surely fructify. The thing is, a day becomes good for a certain activity because it began with that horror. So for example, tenth Lord. The tenth Lord is good for career. So the day of the tenth Lord becomes a good day to do things for career. It becomes good to do things for career because the Hora at sunrise was ruled by that planet, making the whole day good for that activity. So each person it would be different. The Hora, the bar, yeah, well it depends on your Lugna. Well, this, what this Each Lugna will be different. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying for a particular activity, if you want to do a work-related career activity, mm -hmm. for each person it may be different based on their 10th Lord. Yeah, okay. based on the Lugna. Exactly. Like so some each people will have a good day and some people will have a bad day. Exactly. And is, it tr is it also true that if, if it's, say, you don't just want to do two or three career on that one day of the week, so would, like, friends of that Lord be good days as well? Nope. Is that What's the rule if we can't do it on that day? Like, and this is for important, this is for starting things. Oh, okay. Okay. Like starting a new job. Starting a new job or going to apply for a new job. Okay. Or going to a meeting to get something for a new job. Okay. So it's not an excuse just to work one day a week. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to work, do the thing in the Hora. Even if it's the wrong day, you do it in the Hora of the Exactly. The temple or so whatever. the day is based upon the Hora, and it makes that whole day good for something. But if, if we can't get the good day, then at least we go for the horror of the Tenth Lord, mm -hmm. for a career-related activity. Okay. So let's say you <coughs> are going to buy a, a new bed. What day would be a good day to buy a new bed? Twelfth Lord. Twelfth Lord? Mm -hmm. And if we can't go on the day of the Twelfth Lord? We go on the horror of the Twelfth Lord. We go on the horror of the Twelfth Lord. Mm -hmm. Medicine. If we got to go to the doctor, what's the best day to go to the doctor? Day of fourth Lord. Fourth Lord. Fourth hmm? fourth Lord, the fourth house, house of healing. It's the end game of things, right? What were you saying? Nothing. Eighth Lord? <laughs> you want to go to the doctor on the day of the eighth Lord? Perform that illness. He'll say, oh, I think you need an operation for that. <laughs> <laughs> Could be the cure. If you go on the wrong day. Mm. Day of the fourth Lord, you're more likely to get the cure. Day of the eighth Lord, you're more likely to get yourself into uh, something a little bit more elaborate that's going to rob your pocket and maybe cut you <laughs> in a few places. I think there's, um, my dad once had a, a lump on his arm. And, you know, he'd work in houses of doctors and lawyers and all that kind of stuff. And so he, he showed one doctor, the one doctor was a surgeon said, yeah, I can put you in the table and maybe cut that out. Um, another doctor said that he would give him a cream. He went to another guy who was a uh, general practitioner, old doctor. 
I just took a needle, stuck it in there, sucked it out, it was gone. <laughs> Didn't even go into the office or anything, you know, just sucked it out and it was, you know. So I went to see Nandi on the day It was of all about the, the right floor. day. You went to see Nandi on the day of the 8th floor. 7th and 8th floor. 7th and 8th floor. We went on the Sunday. Yeah. Which is the day of what lord? Third lord. Third lord. Well, it's a good so day for remedies. Mm -hmm. Good day for remedies. Good day for listening to a teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. He told me Lord. all about transformation and well, you, you break through time. by you going on the day of your eighth Lord, you were asking him to give you these major transformations and near death experiences. Mm -hmm. You were asking for it. Mm -hmm. You want to cure as you would have gone on the day of your fourth Lord. <laughs> That's what I did. I was kind of like, well, what am I supposed to do with this? If, if, if you wanted to increase saying, your spiritual path, you would have gone on the day of the Ninth Lord. Mm -hmm. Or at least pick the Hora of the Ninth Lord. Okay. To check the Hora. So, the Vara Lord. So the Vara day shows what's strong for that day. Now, when we look at the Vara Lord for the natal chart, we take the, the day we're born. What day are you born, Jane? Um, Monday. Monday. So for you, we look at the moon in your chart. How well placed? Where's your moon? What's happening with your moon? Um, Who else has her chart? That's what I'm hmm? We should have her chart in the yeah. handout. Is it in here? Yes, isn't it wrong to answer here? Tenth house moon? Tenth yeah. house moon and Gemini. So it's a pretty well placed moon, right? Yeah. Anything wrong with the moon in the tenth house? No. It's, it's opposite Digbala. It's opposite Digbala, which gives it one weakness, mm -hmm. but that's more in the direction it's taking you in life. Mm -hmm. So she makes a lot of wrong turns when she's driving. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's true. Really? <laughs> yeah. To concentrate. Because the Digbala is wild. Yeah, the direction it's taking her, you know, and it's the moon, it's what's on her mind. She's always, oh, maybe this way, you know. So sun and fourth would be the same problem. But but relative to sun-related things, so yeah. Sun is spirituality, so it's like, oh, well, maybe I'll try this before I go over there, you know. Maybe I'll go to this church before that church, and, you know, it's still definitely not the right church, you know, so. It's, it's all relative to that. Um, <coughs> okay. So, but the moon is well placed, relatively speaking. So it's showing that the Agni Tattva is relatively strong. If it was in the eighth house, eighth house, it's Marna Karkastana, feels like it's dying, right? Then what would her digestion be like? What would her health and vitality and physical tissues of the body be like? Yeah. Very low. Be very low. Sickly. Sickly. We would have to start looking at health problems in her chart. Okay? So why see how the, the, mm -hmm. Why would the placement of the moon in the chart have to relate to a sickness one day of Because what day was she born? <laughs> she was born on a Monday. Born Who rules Monday? Monday? What day were you born? So based on the position of Jupiter, that's going to show us about your digestion, your agni, and the strength of your body. Okay? Simple, simple. Is it mostly the placement of that planet? or do you also Everything. Look, you have to everything, look at everything we've learned. Yeah. Access to health. How beneficial or how suffering the planet is. Is it brought up? Also important, that insight? Yep. Vada causes unseen problems. Oh, it does? So if you're born on a particular day and it ends up being the Vadakesh? If you're born on the day of the Vadakesh, then you'll have unseen problems with your Agni. Okay. You yeah. know, things that you can't figure out. Things, certain things that you can't figure out. You know, Vadak, Vadak the big thing about the Vadak is that you can't see it. Okay. It's connected mm -hmm. to Rahu. So it'll be showing... Um, Maybe there's something bad in the water, mm -hmm. and you can't see it. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, maybe the chlorine in the water is causing your the indigestion that's just making everything 
ill formed or maybe you live near a nuclear power plant mm -hmm. and it's there's a radiation leak and they're not telling you which they never do tell you you know mm -hmm. and um and uh like this it's things that you can't see where the other planets it you can sit there and you can see well the person isn't eating the right food or you know they need these herbs and it's you know it's pretty you can see what's going on with your eyes looking and analyzing the person if you know ayurveda mm -hmm. next page nakshatras 